What's up y'all? Doing a little vista hiking today up at uh, Round Top Mountain just south of Jasper. Um, this is a place that I've passed by a million times on my way to and from Jasper and the Buffalo River. Um, I actually uh, set out this morning trying to do some waterfall hikes because I thought with the rain maybe I uh, might have some luck but I struck out three times. So I uh, thought, well, I'm pretty close to this. Let's go see what this is all about. I've been meaning to stop in here for years. So uh, what we've got, basically, we're kind of close to the Arkansas Grand Canyon and uh, the big overlook there just south of Jasper before you descend down into the valley. Um, <clears throat> this is a uh, Round Top Mountain. Um, we're actually, so we're going to be doing some uh, <laughs> climbing, doing some elevation here in a little bit. But... Uh, Few things to see i think there's a, a, a plane crash site uh, indian shelter and then several uh, scenic views so that's what we're going to do today no waterfalls we're going to get a nice view of uh, the area around jasper and the buffalo river so uh not a lot of parking out here but uh bathrooms and everything are closed still because of COVID. i guess they just haven't reopened them but Here's the trail, let's get started. All right, one thing about this trail is it's not very well marked. In fact, it's not really marked at all. So this truck keeps going this way. And then it also, it might be hard to see, but there's steps up there. It goes up that way. There's no sign saying what's what here. I don't, I don't know, I'm just gonna check this out first and then we'll keep going down there, so. Kind of a uh, dense jungle <laughs> for being on top of a mountain. It almost looks like rainforest up here. But uh, you know, we'll run up there and see what that's about. And then uh, we'll keep going. I just came up and uh, there's some more folks coming up behind me. And there's a little cave there right up against these cliffs. And I thought it was going to stop right there. But it keeps going. It goes on down here. I'm starting to wonder if maybe this leads us to the plane crash site because it's just keep, kind of keeps going up this way. And <laughs> nope, I'm wrong. <laughs> it's just a cave, but it does open up. I, I guess I'll just keep going through there. I mean, it looks like a trail. We'll give it a shot. I'll let you know. Yeah, I'm starting to think this trail doesn't really go anywhere. I mean, sure doesn't look like a trail. I think this is just people have been up here exploring. That's all. I was kind of hoping to find that airplane crash, but maybe it's maybe it's on up further ahead. I don't know. I'm gonna go on back down and just stay on the main trail. Aha, uh -huh. here we are. This is the crash site. They've conveniently, conveniently left some uh, wreckage here. Have to wonder if this is actual wreckage or just some junk that people have put here for good effect. But anyway, I'll let you read that. Okay. So, not much to it, really. I think I was expecting more, but it was 1948. So, you know. But anyway, so there you go. It is marked. You don't have to look for it. It's right there. On we go. Haven't really had many views yet. I'm hoping to get some. But there's some cool rock formations up here though. It's got moss all over it. It's a great big boulder. Yeah. 
so far there's too many leaves on the trees to be able to see anything out there you can't see there's no view hoping that uh, they've cleared a spot out up here somewhere along this trail because that's kind of the whole reason i came up here but i guess we'll see if not then this might be a winter time hike for you All right, so I just came from that direction, came up this way, along this cliff here. And uh, if you know, follow my uh, any of my videos or articles, if you've seen much of my hiking stuff, you know that I really love rock formations. And so this is actually more than just a cliff I've just discovered. Here's a little, little sneak peek, a little hint of what's coming here. Up here and look at that you can go up in there so that whole thing is a foot and a half wide of just solid rock that's crazy man that it's just separated from the cliff like that okay I'm yeah I'm a dork kind of geeking out over rocks right now sorry it's crazy, like how's that happen? Anyway, still looking for a view. It'd be nice. All right, here we go, keep going. Hey look, there's another one. Except that one's wider. about two or three feet wide still it's like what's keeping that from falling over wish there was a way up there that didn't involve ropes oh well I think I'm getting pretty close to the end here All right, well, guess all I had to do was ask. Looks like there's a trail going up there to the top, so didn't come all this way, just walk around the loop. Let's get up here, check it out. All right, so I got to the top, and uh, there's two trails you can take. There's the West View Trail, and then there's the North Bluff Trail. I took the West, no views. But it does wrap all the way around. It's a big loop. It connects with this North Bluff Trail. And uh, looks like I've found it. And I think this is going to be the only view we get. So, I wish I had known this before. I would have skipped the entire loop trail that I did and gone straight to these upper trails and called it good. But, wow. Oh man. It's a pretty nice view up here though, I'll give them that. There's Jasper down there. Somewhere in one of those valleys down there is the Buffalo River. So it doesn't get any more Ozark than this. All right, I'm gonna snap some pictures. I'm gonna head back. All right, I've uh, finished up that uh, section of trail that goes around the top of the mountain come back down hit the loop trail hit the switch back and here i am back at the parking lot so i'm done that's it um you know honest assessment this hike it was just okay um it wasn't terrible it wasn't great just okay um maybe it would be better in the winter time when you can see more when the views are better i don't know maybe it would 
um but i will say that it just wasn't great enough for me to come back and find out <laughs> like i'm i'm not coming back and doing this one again um yeah not because it was so bad it wasn't that bad it's just the thing is you're in the ozarks you're right close to ponca and the buffalo river there's like a ton of other options for hiking around here that are way better so that's why i won't, I won't be back up here for this one not to say you shouldn't do it but this 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 is a one and done for me i think um just keeping it real i mean you know i'm gonna go ahead and do the video and the blog article just so that there's information out there with an honest take on it and people can decide for themselves they can see all this um but you know i'm, I'm gonna keep it real i'm gonna tell you what i really think I'm not gonna sugarcoat it because i don't want somebody to come look at my video or read my blog and be like man this, this dude said it was good <laughs> this place sucks man that's scott hallmark dude he's full of shit i'm not gonna read his blog again you know i don't want that so i'm gonna keep it real this place was just okay it was all right um i mean if it was if you took this place picked it up and dropped it in the middle of kansas or nebraska or something it'd probably be the best hike around but it's not it's in the hiking mecca of arkansas and it's pretty close to the bottom of the totem pole so uh, anyways, I can check it off the list. It's done. Round Top Mountain. There you go. Thanks for watching.